Earth-9 or Earth-Tangent, or previously called Earth-97 in Pre-Crisis DC, is an alternate reality in the DC multiverse where the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 escalated and has caused the obliteration of Florida and Cuba, which then caused for the Soviet Union to remain as a superpower against the United States and caused World War III. Relevant events shaped the development of many characters, such as a telepathic Superman, an alien Wonder Woman, and three female Jokers. And because this Earth is greatly influenced by the superhumans in it, technologies are more advanced and politics are more devious. Welcome to DCNES and today, let's immerse ourselves to the world of Earth-9 and get to know its characters. Earth-9 was created by Dan Jurgens, who envisioned a universe far different from Earth-1. Earth-1 or New Earth contains our regular DC superheroes, but the world around them seems normal and set in the contemporary timeline of the real world. However, in Earth-9, many events were impacted by the creation of superhumans. The Cuban Missile Crisis took off because of the first atom, which then caused World War III. As a result of the prolonged war of the US with the Soviet Union, President Kennedy approved on the creation of Nightwing, a covert intelligence agency that invested millions to technological advancements in cellular communications, solar-powered cars, artificial intelligence, cryogenics, and space travel including inhabiting the moon. They also created many metahumans such as Superman, who later took control of the entire planet. So, without further ado, let's start off with the members of the Secret Six in Earth-9. First is the Third Atom. The Third Atom of this Earth is like the Superman of Earth-1. He is super strong and super fast, but he can increase or decrease the molecular density of his body and molecular density of other things or other beings any way he wants. This Atom is also the acting leader of the Secret Six. The Secret Six are the main heroes of this universe. They formed initially to address a threat posed by Dr. Aquadus. They would then conduct missions to dismantle the covert yet political and large-scale Nightwing organization and fight Superman's dictatorial regime to reclaim public liberty. His origins reach as far back as World War II, when his grandfather was one of the troops subjected by the United States to regular atomic detonations to study the effects of radiation on human beings. Many died but his grandfather lived, developed many capabilities, and became the first Atom. The first Atom then became a famous and rich hero, influencing the exponential profits and growths of many social brands. Eventually, he had a kid who also became a hero known as the second Atom, but was killed by the Fatal Five. And a grandkid who grew up as the third Atom, who exacted his revenge to the Fatal Five. The second is the Flash. Leah Nelson, also known as the Flash, is a young woman who can turn into light and was born when her parents are in space. She can bend and twist light waves and turn it into solid holograms, she can reform herself into anything, she can duplicate herself, and she can move at the speed of light. She created the holoscope tech that modern movies are using for visual effects. She was born from astronaut parents. On a space mission on the moon Europa of Jupiter, her father found an irradiated rock and studied it in the ship. Eventually, her parents fell in love while studying the rock, which might have given her her powers when she was born. When the family got back to Earth, Leah immediately became a child star with amazing powers. She grew up with the media watching her every day. Third is the Joker. The Joker is an anarchist making fun of the system of New Atlantis, which is a modern city that is the power center and trade center of Earth-9. Her goal is to remind the citizens about the Cuban Missile Crisis and World War III that was actually brought about by the first Atom and by the government. She has fantastic acrobatic skills and she has three personas. Laurie Lemaris, the reporter who later became the Manhunter during Superman's reign. Mary Marvel, the student but was killed during their battle with Superman. And Madame Xanadu, the millionaire V-Arcade owner. Fourth is the Spectre. The Spectre is an ethereal boy genius who can face through anything and become invisible. He is an agent of Nightwing but secretly working for the Secret Six. He experimented on himself by bombarding his body with neutrinos which gave him his powers. Fifth is the Manhunter. The first Manhunter was an orphan and a survivor of the Czechoslovakian War in 1968. Partnered with her robotic dog named Pooch, she is an expert marksman and combatant and she hunted war criminals and bring them to justice. 
When she was killed by Power Girl, Lori Lemaris, the reporter who was previously the Joker, became the second Manhunter. 6 is Plastic Man. Gunter Gans, aka Plastic Man, is a scientist composed entirely of plastic. On their fight against Superman, his polymer form was largely destroyed and only existed in pieces for a while. He was kept in a laboratory by the Spectre. Next are the members of the JLA of Earth-9. First is the Superman. Harvey Dent is the Superman of Earth-9. He is a very powerful telepath who eventually became the ruler of the entire world. Before he was born, Joseph Chill, member of the Nightwing organization and the scientist who created the first atom, decided to put another experiment on the whole town of Viceroy, South Carolina. He planned to create metahumans by putting his miraculous solution into their water system. 18 months later, most of the residents died when their brains turned into jelly and some mutated but also died. However, one survived and that was Harvey Dent who was born as a very normal baby. His mother died during his birth, but he showed no deformities and no special capabilities. Years later, Harvey became a police officer. He tried to save someone from committing suicide, but he also fell with him. Miraculously, he lived and started to develop amazing intellect and found new ways to solve the problems of the city. He started flying through telekinesis and developed pyrokinesis while still growing his mental powers exponentially. He secretly helped many New Yorkers with many problems who then called him the Superman. Eventually, he was resolving meta-human crisis and teamed up with the Third Atom and other superheroes. He then developed telepathy, creating force fields and he can alter his own physiology to gain advantage over his villains. When he became very powerful, he realized that he can change the situation of the entire planet, stop hunger, hatred and poverty, and remove firearms and war. He dismantled the entire military systems of all countries, he decimated the Nightwing organization, and he became the superior dictator of the planet. He eventually stopped other superhumans who tried to fight him and removed the freedom of everyone as well. Second is the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern of Earth-9, sometimes called the Goddess of Death, can resurrect the dead so they can perform one final mission. She has three origin stories. First is the story of the marine explorer, Lois Lane, who was murdered by her employer after her discovery of irradiated sea creatures in the depths of the ruins of Tampa, Florida. On her death, she was rescued by these sea creatures and was given the powers of the Green Lantern. The second origin was from the story of Manhunter who was fighting a wicked sorceress named Darkseid in Czechoslovakia. The ghost of the twin sister of the sorceress appeared to Manhunter to help her defeat Darkseid. When Manhunter broke Darkseid's orb, Darkseid's power went to the twin sister and with her combined power, she became the Green Lantern. The third origin was from the story of Zatanna and the coven of necromancers called the Dark Circle. Zatanna was tasked to bring the Green Lantern to the coven, who was currently possessed by Jason Blood. When she attacked the Green Lantern, her spell backfired immediately killing her. She then wished to live once more. And so, Jason Blood offered her life with the condition of carrying the responsibilities of the Green Lantern. And this Green Lantern is an object that can summon the spirits of the dead. Third is Wonder Woman. Wanda is an alien from planet Gotham who can wipe anyone from existence through reordering time and reality. Apparently, she loves to overthink things or wonder about them, that's why she is called Wonder Woman. In planet Gotham, they have stopped the aging process which removed the need for procreation. The females evolve into ethereal creatures called element girls and the males evolve into warriors called beast boys. The separation of genders have raised an eternal civil war that may cause their extinction. Lina Thorul acknowledges this extinction and knows that if the genders reunite, they will be stronger. So in her laboratory, she created a being combining the best of both genders and so the birth of Wonder Woman. While still in her tank, she absorbed the information of 100 civilizations but she also has the warrior skills of the Beast Boys. When Wanda was presented, the people of Gotham killed Lena and treated Wanda as an abomination. She fled and arrived on Earth-9 where she met the rest of the JLA. Fourth is the First Atom. The First Atom was a product of experiments of Joseph Chill in creating super soldiers that will combat the Soviet Union. 
He survived the experiments and developed capabilities of changing his density and the density of things he touches. He grew impatient when he saw the news that the Soviets are amassing nuclear bombs in Cuba. This first atom then flew to Cuba, but Cuba thought that he was a missile from the United States, so Cuba in retaliation released their nuclear bombs pointed to Florida. And the same was done by the United States, effectively starting World War III. When the dust settled, the U.S. covered it up and made the first atom appear as a hero who thwarted other missiles from exploding. Decades later, he was assassinated when he revealed the truth to the world. He was later on revived by the Green Lantern. Fifth is the Batman. The Batman is a knight from the time of King Arthur of Camelot and his name is Sir William. Sir William was enamored and manipulated by a sorceress named Lady Tasmia to incite a war against King Arthur, killing and conquering many towns after another. On his last fight with King Arthur, Lady Tasmia turned into a bat-like creature and killed King Arthur. Although Sir William killed Lady Tasmia, he was still cursed by Merlin to live forever while trapped in his own castle. Years of loneliness made him create the Batman, a mechanical robot that served as his emissary at night to become a hero. This Batman would later become a member of the JLA but would also fight the Superman of Earth-9. The other major characters of Earth-9 are the following. Power Girl Power Girl is a creation of the Chinese communists to create a new race. She has the capabilities of channeling energies into many forms such as to revive the dead. She revived the resistance soldiers who freed her from the laboratory. She is multilingual, she can fly, and she declined to become a slave of the Chinese government. Likewise, she declined to become a member of the resistance and declined to be a member of Nightwing. Eventually, when Superman became the supreme leader of Earth, Power Girl became one of the loyal subjects and his lover. Nightwing Nightwing is a rogue ancient group of covert networks that controls the government. Its headquarters is far beneath the Pentagon and their symbol is the pentagram. The origins of this network goes as far back as the 1400s when Vandal Sauvage of the French court founded the Order of Saint Dumas as a sanctuary for magic wielders. At the time of the American Revolution, the order split into two. The American branch became the Nightwing organization and the European branch became their main enemy, the Meridian Group. After the Cuban Missile Crisis, Nightwing was discovered by President Kennedy and used it for espionage for the interests of the United States. Some of its members are Creeper, one of the magical leaders of Nightwing who inhales souls to become powerful, Director Moore, former Metal Man, commander of Firestorm, the supernational police force, Francis Powell, also a former Metal Man, deputy director of Nightwing, Grave Digger, former Metal Man, head of the Rogues Group, Wildcat, an undercover agent of Nightwing that is controlled by the Grave Digger. Vincent Lord, also known as Hex, arrogant but gifted techno sorcerer. And Black Orchid specializes in tantric magic. Doom Patrol The Doom Patrol is a group that traveled from the future to stop the explosion of Earth. It includes Dr. Day, Rampage, Star Sapphire, and Firehawk. Rampage is a synthetic being who can disarm any security system. Dr. D-Day is a scientist who created Kitty Hawk, their time-traveling jet. Star Sapphire, a former diva who used to date the first Atom and was placed in cryogenics but was fused with the jewelries buried with her. She can create energy beams and force fields. Firehawk, daughter of Dr. Day, is an amazing hand-to-hand -hand combatant. They were ultimately kidnapped by Stalin and their souls were used to feed and release the ultra-humanite. Sea Devils the Sea Devils were created from the aftermath of the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis that destroyed Cuba and Florida. The energies from the explosions made the residents evolve into underwater beings that are more intelligent than humans. Shaligo, city of the Sea Devils, is built on the remains of Macon, Georgia, and is ruled by a charming red-skinned Sea Devil known as the Ocean Master. The Sea Devils were extensively disdained by humans, especially in New Atlantis. Likewise, the Sea Devils considered humans to be barbaric and vile. However, some humans and Sea Devils fight for coexistence. Other notable characters in Earth-9 are Prism, a magnificent acrobat who can create objects from her own energy projections and can become invisible. 
Captain Comet, an African-American hero from the 1960s fighting Soviet missiles, Jade, a magical member of the Chinese resistance forces and of the Meridian, sister of Black Orchid, Supergirl, another product of Chinese genetics, Ultra Humanite, a living weapon used by the Soviet Union. He can release an electromagnetic pulse to neutralize technologies all over the world. Superman defeated the Ultra Humanite and used him for world domination. And Lola Dent, wife of the Superman, who later helped the heroes of Earth-9 and heroes of New Earth to defeat her husband. So what do you think of Earth-9? Do you find the actions of Superman benevolent or tyrannical? He may have totally removed freedom, but he has improved everyone's quality of life. What would you do if you live in Earth-9? Let us know what you think and hit subscribe.